Hey y'all, today I wanted to chat with you about how to mod for Mass Effect Legendary Edition using ME3 Tweaks Mod Manager. This method will work for all three of the Legendary Edition games and you only have to install this once in order to use it with all of them. This is also how you can edit the coalesced file, which I will do a separate video on, so stay tuned for that. To get started, you're going to want to navigate over to the Nexus Mod website and download the ME3 Tweaks Mod Manager. Or you can go to the ME3 Tweaks website directly and download it from there. I'll leave a link for both of those locations in the description of this video. Once downloaded, click on the installer you just downloaded and install it. It will give you a preferred place to install it, such as your documents folder, but it does give you the option to change the installation location if you'd like. Make sure to note though, this cannot be installed in your game directory, it needs to be installed in a different location, preferably and easy to find and access a location. Once you have it installed, navigate over to the installation folder. I'd suggest at this point either pinning the EXE to your taskbar or making a shortcut for it on your desktop for ease of use. Once you've opened up the mod manager, you might notice you have some updates to install. Please install those before going any further. You might also have a tutorial for the mod manager that pops up. If you'd like to review that, now is the best time to do so. Then it's time to install your mods. Please note that before installing mods, it is highly, highly recommended to back up your game as otherwise you'll need to repair slash re-download the game in order to fix some modding issues that could pop up and potentially remove certain mods that might not be DLC based mods, but it's up to you if you'd like to do that or not. Before we get to installing a mod, let me give you a really quick overview of this mod manager. You'll notice two big panels to start. The one on the left will have a list of mods you'll eventually install, and the one on the right will give you the description and important information about them. Above that, you'll see tabs for ME1, 2, and 3, etc. You can turn those on and off to show the mods for a specific game to keep things more organized. If you're going to use this mod manager for either just the OT or just LE, I suggest navigating two sections up and toggling either the Legendary Edition or the Original Trilogy off to make it a little less cluttered in your mod library section. Then you have in your main bar um, at the top the ability to back up and restore the game from the mod manager. You also have various modding tools in the tool section which you can use if you'd like to make your own mods. Then the mod management and utility section will allow you to import mods, batch install, etc. if you'd like to use those tools. And lastly, the action section will allow you to change the options for the manager. The installation target is very important as it will show you the file path for where it is installing your mods. It's worth double checking before installing mods that it has the correct location slash game. If it doesn't, you can hit the add target section and navigate over to your game from there in order to add it to your list. Now let's get started on installing a mod. First navigate back over to the Nexus mod website and download a mod of your choice using the manual option. Once you downloaded a mod that you'd like, all you need to do is drag and drop that file that you just downloaded into the mod manager. Now it'll either be a .zip, .7zip, .rar, etc. It'll just be a compacted single file that has everything on the inside. But the nice thing about this mod manager is you don't need to unpack anything to install it. It's just a simple drag and drop. From there, you'll hit the import mod option. Then once imported, click it in your mod library section, which is the section on the left hand side, and then click apply mod on the bottom right hand side. Then it should be applied to your game. From there, you can use either the mod manager to launch your game or just launch it as you normally would. As a note, there is an option to import and apply a mod at one time called install. However, as of the time of making this video, it wouldn't apply the mods for me every time and I ended up having to install them the other way, but it is an installation option that is worth noting and possibly trying. Now, when it comes to deleting a mod, there are two things you want to make note of. Uninstalling a mod from your game and removing them from your mod manager are two totally separate things and removing a mod from your mod manager does not uninstall it from the game. To uninstall the mod from your game, 
First, make sure your installation target is the correct game that you're looking to remove a mod from. Then click Manage Target next to it. From there, you can either delete or disable a mod. In order to remove a mod from the mod manager itself, you can click on the mod and then navigate to your top bar and select mod utilities, then delete mod from library. Or you can select the mod in your mod library section, right click it and hit delete mod from library. If when you're trying to uninstall a mod, you don't see it in your manage target section, that means unfortunately it was not a DLC mod and you'll either need to restore, repair, or re-download and install your game in order to remove it. Now, if you remember from earlier, we do have a section up at the top that will allow you to restore your game and you can just use that in order to do so if you need it provided that you did use the backup option in the mod manager to pre-backup your game before you began modding. Now, please note that simply removing a mod once again from your library does not uninstall it from the game. You do have to first uninstall it completely, and then you can remove it from your mod manager. And that's it. You're ready to start modding Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I hope this helped if you had any questions using the mod manager. Happy modding, and I will catch you next time. Bye!